Hi, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomster.com and today I want to talk to you guys about how I manage my period naturally and all the reusable things I use on my period. I don't use any disposable pads or anything and also just some natural remedies for cramps and regulating your hormones and emotions and all that good stuff. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys and let's get right into it. Now, I just want to start this by saying that I love my period, and it wasn't always that way. I used to have really, really irregular periods when my thyroid is high, but now that I have it regulated from just healthy eating and herbs and different things, and especially after having babies and just seeing the amazing things my body can do, I have really come to love my period and appreciate it. It is such a big part of our lives. It, I read somewhere that you bleed for almost nine years of your total life if you added up your period every month and you added all that together, it's almost nine years of bleeding. So it is a big part of our lives. And so I feel like it's really important to embrace it and have a positive mindset around it. And it just helps a lot of things if you're able to do that. I think that's really uncommon in our day and age. Our culture just has a really negative view of periods. Some people hate their periods so much that they'll use medical contraceptives and risk all the issues that that might cause later on just to make their periods tough. That is, pretty crazy to me. But our periods aren't wrong or gross or evil. They are such a big part of our femininity. I feel very strongly about using as many non-toxic and natural things in our lives as possible. It's the reason I cloth diaper and I make all of our own soaps and cleaning products and everything. And that includes what I use during my period. So the first thing I use are reusable pads. Now I know these kind of freak a lot of people out and they might think they're gross or something, but I'm here to tell you that it's not gross at all. They're really easy to clean. The way I clean them is I throw them in the washer with the rest of our clothes. I use some homemade laundry detergent and then I throw them in the dryer with the rest of the clothes and they come out perfectly clean. They don't smell weird. They don't have stains on them. I feel like it's really quite sanitary. It's been probably about three years now since I started using reusable pads. Before that, I was using just the regular disposable pads. Disposable pads and tampons are just full of all kinds of scary chemicals that can even lead to cancer later on. That is definitely not something I want anywhere near my yoni. The average woman uses 11,000 tampons in her lifetime. That is a lot of toxic things going near your vagina or in your vagina in the case of tampons. And that's also so much waste going to the landfills. But it's totally possible to have a waste-free and a chemical-free period. But I feel like a lot of people just don't even know that's an option. So I'm just gonna show you all the pads that I have. I have several different sizes of pads that I use for different times in my period. And all these things that I'm showing you today, if there's somewhere you can buy them online, I will link it down in the description box so you can find them as well. But the first pads, these ones are the ones I've had the longest. They were the first cloth pads I got when I started using reusable stuff for my periods. And they're kind of like a small or medium size, I guess. They're not quite big enough to hold the heavy flow that I get like in the middle of my period. The heavy flow that I get like in the middle of my period. So I use these for like the beginning of the period and then when it's almost over. And now here is a bigger pad. I think these are 14 inches long. And this is a heavy flow pad. I also use these when I'm bleeding postpartum. So you can see they're a lot bigger than these little ones. And they're a bit thicker too, so they hold more. So I use these in the middle of my periods when I'm bleeding a lot. It is a little much. I probably don't need this much protection, but if I use these, I have to change them several times a day versus I can change this once every 24 hours if I want to. It's nice because this is black so it doesn't stain at all. And this is a really soft material and then the outside is waterproof. And they just fold up like this and then these fold over and they snap together so they're really easy to store. So those are the pads. And then the other thing that I use is interlabial pads. And this is something that I more recently started using. My friend made me some and I had actually never even heard of them before she made them for me and so I gave them a try and I do have to say, at first I really did not like them. It kind of feels like you have a really bad wedgie <laughs> at first, but I'm a bit more used to them now and I've actually really been liking them for the very end of my period. So when I'm just bleeding a little bit, just enough that I need some protection, I just don't want it to get in my underwear but I don't want to use a pad. Or by then I'm kind of tired of using a pad and I just want to feel more free. So that's when I'll use these little interlabial pads. Now, I will link some articles on how to use these 
But basically, there's different ways you can fold them. You can fold them like this, and then you put this part just right inside your vagina, and then these can kind of fold out. You can also fold it like this, and then this whole top part goes in your vagina just right inside. So it doesn't go in deep like a tampon or a diva cup. So I don't think they're for everybody. They at first can be uncomfortable until you get used to them. If I'm wearing a pad anyway, I wouldn't wear this along with it. I just, I really like these for the end of my period. So I just store them in this little waterproof bag and all of it gets washed together with some of our other clothes, whatever I have to wash next. So I have about 10 of these interlabial pads, I think, which is absolutely plenty. I don't need that many. I have about eight of these, I think, the big ones, and then about five to eight of these. I, they're, some of them are lost because I stored some in the diaper bag and then in my purse and then in the dresser and they because I've had these the longest some of them have gotten lost so I think I have about five left and that amount is working out really well. I go through these big ones a lot faster when I'm bleeding postpartum but just for regular periods I don't use all the ones that I have. Another reusable item that you can use for your periods is a menstrual cup. They're sometimes called diva cups or moon cups, but they're basically just a little rubber cup that you insert into your vagina. It's round and it kind of suctions on to the inside of your vagina so that it catches everything. I've tried these before. Back before I had kids, I tried it. So I probably should try it again now that I have actually gone through labor. But back then it really freaked me out and I did not like having something up there. Just, But I have never used tampons either. So I feel like for someone who maybe is used to tampons, they might really like the Diva Cup. And I'm definitely gonna give it a try again because I've heard such great things. I still have mine from back when I tried it before, like two years ago. It is a nice cup. It is high quality and I feel like if I could just get used to the idea of something in there that I can feel, it would be okay, but at least for I had kids, I didn't like it. And then another thing that you can use that I've heard of several people using it, I haven't used personally, but it is a great option, is actually reusable sea sponges. I think this is one of the least common things for people to use. I will link a post on the Wellness Mama blog where she talks about these and also a good link on Amazon for some high quality ones if you guys are interested in learning more about that. So now let's get into more of the supplements and things I used for pain management and hormone regulation. The first thing and my absolute favorite thing is Clary Calm Essential Oil. This essential oil blend is made of clary sage, lavender, bergamot, Roma chamomile, ling ling, cedarwood, geranium, fennel, carrot, palmarosa, and vitex leaf essential oils. So it's a blend of a bunch of amazing essential oils that are really great for pain management. They're very calming and relaxing and I find they help really well with cramps. I was actually really surprised. My mother-in-law was actually the one who introduced me to this. I had a really bad cramps and I was over there once and she had me use some of this essential oil and it helped so much with the cramps. It also has a cooling effect on your skin so a lot of people get hot flashes in their, on their period and that is a really great thing to use for that. I like using it when I'm not even on my period and I just want to have something that makes me feel relaxed and de-stressed and also if I get overheated which I'm someone who gets overheated pretty easily, so this is a great oil that I, I just use it all the time because I love it. It also helps balance your emotions and hormones, which is really important during your period. Your hormones are kind of changing and fluctuating at different points in your cycle, and it just really helps regulate everything and make your makes your mood more balanced and just helps with all that stuff. You can use this aromatically. You can rub some on your hands and cup, cup your hands over your mouth and smell it. You can use it in your diffuser. The main ways I use it is topically. I use my roller bottle and hello. I rub it on the back of my neck and on my ankles and on my abdomen. And the abdomen seems to help the most for cramp pain because that's right where the pain is coming from. So that's the main thing I use during my periods. The next thing is red raspberry leaf tea. And if you guys have watched very many of my videos, you'll know I'm a huge fan of red raspberry leaf. It is one of my all-time favorite herbs ever. It's so amazing for women's reproductive health. I drink this in my pregnancy starting in the second trimester all the way through to the end. And I also drink it afterwards to help with her recovery. So it is just an amazing herb. If you don't have a lot to invest in herbs or not a lot of space to store them and you only want, want to get a couple, 
I would definitely recommend this as one of the ones you get. So again, it supports women's reproductive health. It's a uterine tonic, so it can really help with cramps. In pregnancy, it can help tone the uterus and get it ready for contractions and make contractions more effective. So it's just really great for your uterus overall. It's useful for PMS and it's also high in iron, magnesium, and vitamin C. Plus, it's just it feels really good when you're on your period and you're feeling a little bit achy to drink a nice hot cup of tea. And it also helps make sure you keep your water intake up because this counts as your water intake as well. I like to drink a quart of this tea at a time because I just really enjoy it. I try to drink a gallon of water a day and water will also really help with period cramps and stuff and just having enough water and making sure you're hydrated is just gonna help with everything in general. And then the next thing I use is magnesium. Now magnesium is a muscle relaxant and Again, I use this in pregnancy. I use it to make sure I don't get leg cramps. I get leg cramps really, really easily during pregnancy. So magnesium is just kind of something I take all the time. So because it's a muscle relaxant, it can help kind of relax the uterus and ease the cramps and the uterine contractions. So magnesium is just a great thing to have in your arsenal of vitamins and supplements because it's just great for so many things. So that's all for the supplements and herbs. And my last tip is just to make sure you're listening to your body and resting you'll kind of start to be able to tell which cramps, which kind of cramps mean which thing, and just listen to what your body's telling you to do. It's, it's okay to take a nap if you need to, if you need to rest. I definitely get a lot slower when I'm on my period. I just don't move as fast. I don't go out and do as many things. I just really let my body take it easy. I can definitely tell a difference when I do that. It's my cramps don't get as bad. My period actually is shorter overall. And so, yeah. That those are all my tips. Those are all the things I do to manage my periods naturally and using reusable products and only natural products. I used to always take Advil and ibuprofen like constantly on my periods because my cramps were so bad and I couldn't find anything else to help with the cramps. But I haven't used Advil or ibuprofen for anything in about three years. I am so impressed with how well these things work and I hope it is helpful for you guys too. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Little Jimmy. Hi, baby. Oh, my goodness.